Sometimes we'll have different enemies. Those hidden enemies and physical enemies, those that will be our friend at the face and at back, they're doing evil against us. Or sometimes we'll have some people that own us money. Yes, they can pay us the money, but they decided not to pay us that money just to show the level of their wickedness. All right, in today's video, I'm going to talk to you on how you can make your prayer with just a one item and uh, those people will come back to beg you and confess to you okay good morning everyone good afternoon and good evening i greet you according to where you are and when you see this video if you are new you are highly welcome if you're stopping by or today is the first time seeing this channel or joining us you are highly welcome all right please do consider clicking on the red button subscribe and join the full family also, turn on the bell notification so you will always get notified whenever I upload a new video. For my return subscribers, thank you very much for coming back. You are blessed. All right, in today's video, like I said, a lot of people owe us money. Yeah, they have the money to pay us, but they decided not to pay us because of they felt we can't do anything or oh, they are above us in any ways or whatever or sometimes we do have many enemies those people that are talking evil against us or making evil pronunciation about us or saying evil things against us okay in today's video i want to show you on how you can use an alligator pepper to make your prayers and those your enemies will come back and beg you and uh, confess to you all right, so now, like, seriously, we've talked a lot about this alligator pepper. And still, before I go on to say about this, I will also repeat it, that before you use an alligator pepper, you should make sure that your hands are clean. And a lot of questions do come that, how do I know my hands are clean? Okay, today, I want to make it clear to you, so you will understand when we say the word, your hands are clean, because alligator pepper is a spirit. So you need to understand yourself before you use it. It's really working. It's something that when you use it, you get an instant answer to your prayers when you use it in a normal way. All right. Let's sometimes, uh, most of the times, let me say maybe you have killed somebody before, or maybe you have shared blood, or maybe you have done abortion, or maybe you have, you know, planned evil against somebody, or maybe you have seen when something good wants to happen to your neighbor or your family member, and you try to all means to stop it. Or maybe you have gone to any diabolic way or means to project evil against somebody. Yes, we may do, somebody might do all these things unknowingly. But please, if you are the one, maybe you are watching me, before you use an alligator pepper, please make sure you go for spiritual cleansing so that the revise will not be the case, please. Because you will not, you will not as um, have uh, bad things in your hands and you are using alligator pepper to pray, the revise will be the case. So please try to go for spiritual cleansing before you use an alligator pepper, okay? So if you want to see the video for spiritual cleansing, please check other videos i've done a lot of videos on this pressure cleansing all right so now if people are owning you or you have people you know they are evil they are manipulating you they are causing you pains they, that's they are the cause of the problem your enemy not you are passing through now and those people you know that this is the particular person if you don't know that person maybe you are just guessing or or you are just imagining please don't mention him why doing this recipe but you know sometimes you may know somebody that is harming you that is against your progress but because the person is highly diabolic or uh, no uh, evil way or more than you anyhow you decided to keep quiet that you don't know what to do now don't worry if you know the person's name you are free to mention the name of the person but if you don't know the name of the person please while doing this recipe don't call names okay now and if people somebody is owing you and that person refused to pay you that money and you know that the person has that money to pay you and you refuse to pay you can also do this recipe calling the person's name then how do you do this get your alligator pepper remember i told you how to open your alligator pepper when you want to use it for a spiritual cleansing please take note of that 
Now you open your alligator paper, like I said, you don't open alligator paper from the front at the first stage. You need to take it at your back and open alligator paper like this. Then before you bring it in your front to take out from the seed, okay? Now that is you are showing respect to the alligator pepper and it's going to work for you perfectly. Now, what you need to do is that early morning, as early as before anybody wake up, before you talk to anybody, before you brush your teeth, before you put anything in your mouth, like I said, any early morning once you wake up, get seven seeds of an alligator pepper, seven seeds. Now, you are going to, that seven seed, hold it in your palms like this. You're getting me. Then you mention the name of that person seven times. Now, like if you don't know the person's name, like I said, you just call your name, your own particular name seven times and said, anyone that is doing this to me, please listen so that you will not go and mention your name and did another prayer. If you don't know the name of the person, you are to call your name seven times and said you are commanding the person that is owning you or that is saying evil against you. But if you know the name of the person that is behind your problem, you call that name of you call the name of the person the same seven times and you say, I am commanding you wherever you are. That let the God, the heaven and the earth, the sea, the sound, everything that has to do with the universe be against you. May you never have peace. May you have may you never have joy. You know, then you just say all these things, your prayers. And then you are going to shoot that an alligator pepper, the seven seed you hold in your pants. Remember, you are sending this alligator pepper an errand. So you need to speak to the alligator pepper by your praying. Please, you need to pray. All right. Pray to God, pray to whatever you believe on, all right? Now, when you are done praying, you are going to put it in your mouth and shoo it for. After shooing the seven seed of the alligator pepper, then you are going to spit it out just once. All the alligator pepper should be spit out once that morning. You can spit it where you make that prayer, but don't allow anybody to step on it. Immediately you are done making it, make sure you pack it and go and throw it away. All right? Don't allow anybody to step on that alligator paper that you spit out. You must pack it and throw it either in the bush or you dispose it anywhere that is safe for you. Then after making that prayer that for the day, you are done. The next day you are going to repeat this prayer. Second day, so you are going to do this prayer for the period of seven days and watch out the magic that is going to happen. Like seriously, is a texted and trusted. You know, they will come and beg you. They will come and tell you what did you do because they will never have peace. They will never have joy until they come and confess and they beg you or come to pay you whatever they are owing you. All right. So this uh, issue of mentioning your name, maybe if you don't know the name of the person, how you make the prayer, like you mention your name, me Adeze, me Adeze, me Adeze for seven times. Any man or woman, you understand me, born under this head that is against her, that are talking evil against me, that is doing evil, that kept me in this condition, that are projected evil into my life, you know, that caused me this sickness and all that. Then you are praying using this an alligator pepper to go and judge them, to go and destroy them, that they will not have peace until they come back and beg you to confess or pay you your money, whatever reason you are praying with. But this is the two reasons. You are to use this an alligator paper, seven seed which you are spitting out once. Either people are owning you and refuse to pay you, or people are ganging up against you for evil. So do this recipe and wash out the magic that is going to happen. Believe me, after doing it, you are coming back to testify. Like I said, is a texted and trusted. So I wish to share with you. So you yourself will go and make this prayer and testify. Thank you very much for watching. I love you. Stay blessed. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed. See you in my next video. Bye.